I love talking about food, I love eating food, and I love sharing food with you guys. I feel like this would be a really fun meal for a game day. Now, I don't know how this could be gross, just saying that. Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel. I'm really excited for this video because I love talking about food, I love eating food, and I love sharing food with you guys. I've never done a video quite like this, so it's pretty new to me, but I hope that you guys will enjoy it. This video is a week of eating only Half-Baked Harvest recipes. If you haven't heard of Half-Baked Harvest, it's an amazing website um, that has a lot of different recipes. She's really incredible with her ingredients and just the way she puts food together, so I was really excited to film some of these, try them, and share them with you. So if you enjoy these types of videos and are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can stick around for new videos every single week. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now let's get into the video. So I thought that I would share the meals that I chose to pick out for this weekly challenge. So I chose to pick the buffalo chicken egg rolls. Those just sounded amazing. The tomato soup and grilled cheese, because again, <laughs> sounded amazing. I love grilled cheese and anything like warm and toasty, so that had to be on the menu. The Brussels sprout bacon fettuccine alfredo, sounded delicious. Again, as you can like kind of tell, if I was gonna do a challenge, I wanted to at least do it with like comforting, cozy food. So that's what we did. So as you guys can see, it's just three meals for this week. We kind of had an interesting week, to be honest, when I was filming this. Um, so we weren't able to do all of them, but that's okay. These three that I'm gonna share with you are so amazing and so delicious. Now let's get on into it. So we started off the week with the buffalo chicken egg rolls and I was very nervous to make these because I felt like it was going to be such an insane process but it was really easy. Basically all you had to do was cook the chicken, that was pretty much the hardest part, and I cheated and got rotisserie chicken. So all I needed to do was shred the chicken and make the filling, and the filling consisted of Greek yogurt, buffalo sauce, cheese. There were lots of other different like herbs and spices that I didn't have on hand and I forgot to get at the store, so I kind of just like didn't um, do those. And then at the end you had to make a little cilantro lime sauce. My mouth is watering as I think about this because I haven't had dinner yet and it was so good. So once you make the filling and once you like fill the little egg rolls, you just bake them in the oven so it's a lot healthier. I thought I was gonna have to like fry them or something. I had no idea how I was gonna cook these but you just have to put them in the oven and it's a really simple easy process. They come out so bubbly and golden brown and like I said paired with the cilantro lime sauce that you make. Again so easy basically just a lot of Greek yogurt and a lot of cilantro and lime. Um, it's just the perfect pairing. It cuts through that like very spicy, um, rich filling of the egg rolls and just pairs really nicely together. I will say <laughs> one thing I felt like we were kind of lacking was like vegetables, <laughs> which I don't think I always say that. I don't think I've ever said that, but it was just kind of, it was a very heavy meal. I feel like this would be a really, really fun meal for a game day or if you had like a game night or people over or something like that. It's a really fun side kind of snacky uh, food, but I felt like for dinner I was kind of missing some variety. I was just eating like egg rolls, so I felt like I was missing something. So that's my only note with this recipe. I don't know what you could pair it with, to be honest. It does feel kind of like what I'm saying, like a snacky food or like a share food or something like that. But other than that, 10 out of 10, it was such a delicious meal. Me and Sebastian both loved it. Another note that I'll add before we move on to the next recipe is that you don't want to overfill them. I had some that I kind of overfilled and inevitably they expanded and exploded in the oven. <laughs> so just be aware of that and don't add too much cheese because it does ooze out all over the place and it's not as like crunchy. So keep those things in mind. Um, but other than that, it was delicious. The second meal that we tried was the homemade tomato soup and grilled cheese. Now, I don't know how this could be gross just saying that. It was so delicious, but we'll get into the details right now. Basically, all you needed to do for the tomato soup was just have a lot of tomatoes on hand, quarter them up, throw them in a dish that can go into the oven. I put onion, I put a lot of spices like oregano and thyme and things like that, salt and pepper, and then you just roughly chop it up, which I found so 
so nice because I suck at chopping, especially onions. I can't get them very fine and then I feel like I don't like them. So it was nice to just kind of roughly chop everything, throw it in the oven for like 40 minutes. It roasted up beautifully. After you take it out of the oven, basically you just put it into a blender and blend it up. Following her recipe, um, after you like blend it up and it cools for a little bit, you put it on the stove with more salt and pepper. You can add some cheese in there if you want. And then I decided to add coconut milk per her recommendation and it was really good. I think I put too much to be honest. I think it's really nice to have that cream effect, but if you don't like coconut milk, I probably would opt for like a whipping cream or something like that or maybe just a dollop of sour cream in yours or Greek yogurt something like that because I think you do need that creamy element to kind of cut through all of the sodium and stuff with the tomatoes um, but other than that it was so easy and simple and didn't take long at all so once the soup was just kind of sitting on the stove um, I went and made the grilled cheese which the key to a great grilled cheese is lots of cheese options and like high quality cheese not like high quality cheese because I'm not buying my cheese high quality but I'm just trying like different brands I'm not doing craft singles I'm not doing like you know we're not doing that so I found some amazing Gouda and Havarti cheese that's what we decided to use and I got this baked sourdough bread which was so delicious we loved it so much and I just put some butter on both sides added the cheese and grilled it up and I'm telling you it was the perfect pair if you are experiencing cold or gloomy weather already this is the perfect meal for you like I said it's so easy so delicious me and Sebastian both loved it I will say that it is a heavy meal maybe because I chose I like to add a lot of cheese to my grilled cheese or else it's just like nothing um, so that's another thing these meals were very heavy I will say um but they were so delicious and aside from adding too much coconut milk into the soup i would totally make this again they're doing yard work but i'm also about to lose all the light so i'm hoping you can't hear them can you hear them they're coming back <laughs> i'll just wait okay so they are done with the yard work it's kind of late, I guess. Maybe not. I guess it just feels late with daylight savings. But the last meal that we made was the Brussels sprout, <laughs> the Brussels sprout and bacon fettuccine alfredo, which if I was talking about the other meals being heavy, this is also very heavy, but it's so good. So again, a lot of these meals feel like they're very... I don't know like they're gonna be overwhelming there's a lot of steps there's a lot of things to do but honestly they're so easy I can't express that enough so easy and so delicious and it's fun to have good homemade meals at home yeah. basically the hardest part of this recipe I felt like was dealing with the bacon I'm not a big bacon fan so having to like fry it up I felt very just like overwhelmed and not sure how to do it but I just crisped it up in a pan and cut it up into little pieces same with the Brussels sprouts they can be very tricky I find to make them really yummy but the way that she had us do it was just like really crisp them up put them in a lot of butter and garlic and they were so crispy and delicious and they were just a perfect pair with the Brussels sprouts I felt like the bacon's very salty and the Brussels sprouts had like nice charred flavor it was just delicious and then on to the fettuccine alfredo this was super easy to make i just kind of let my pasta do its thing on the stove and then i added cream cheese whole milk heavy whipping cream and made my little alfredo sauce and just kind of let that thicken up with some parmesan cheese and it was so good it was so good i again made this on a night when i had some fun tv to watch so we ate a bowl of pasta and watched some tv and it was absolutely delicious i don't really have any notes for this one sebastian did say that he felt like it was a little too thick the sauce um the next day so a lot of these we could have for leftovers which is amazing we love leftovers um but the sauce um i like my sauce like thick i don't know that's just me but he did feel like it got a little bit thick overnight in the fridge, which is pretty common for sauces. So I would just add a little bit more milk or maybe some water. I don't know if that's bad. I don't know. I don't know if there's directions on how to like reuse it, but I would just use something to kind of thin it out just a little bit the next day. But other than that, 
amazing. I think this meal would be really nice if you added even more vegetables like mushrooms or zucchini, something like that. Me and Sebastian really love adding lots of vegetables, so I feel like it would be a nice pair um, with the bacon in this meal, but that's just a side note. Just with the Brussels sprouts, it was really delicious and it was fun to make. Okay, I'm slowly losing light here, but that finishes up the three meals that we ate this week. For this fun challenge of only eating half-baked harvest recipes, I loved it so much. It was such a fun challenge and it honestly has kept me wanting to try more of her food. She has amazing things from treats to sides to main dishes and I encourage you to check out her website and find some great recipes for you and your family. Let me know if you try any of the same ones that I've shared with you today. I will have her website as well as these specific recipes linked down below in the description box for you guys to check out. Let me know how you liked the video in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys right back here for a brand new video really soon. Bye!